Hey everyone and welcome back to more live fire grilling with Lumber Capital Log Yard. Join us as we dive into the art of live fire barbecue, grilling up this mouth-watering leg of lamb that will leave you craving more. Let's go. We are very excited to talk about our favorite meat on this barbecuing video. We are doing a leg of lamb bone in and uh, this is by far my family's choice piece of meat to eat. We are going to be working shortly with a farm just up the road from us that is all local, uh, local lamb. We are very excited about it. This piece isn't, this is a New Zealand um, grown lamb at, from our local grocery store. And it is bone in. My favorite way to do it is actually on the rotisserie. Uh, so it can just slowly go around in its own juice. Uh, we didn't quite have the time today. This is a work day for me. So we rushed through it a little bit. I think it's, going to be perfect. I'm going to tell you I don't do lamb the traditional way. When I was young my dad made lamb stew and we still joke about it today. It was probably one of the worst meals any of my family including my father's had in his life. Um, it was pretty rough and it was overpowered with rosemary, one of the traditional lamb herbs. And when I started doing lamb barbecuing it several years ago, I came up with my own recipe. And I know this is gonna be really surprising, but we love it, it's really incredible. First of all, we like to do a dry rub and let it sit uh, preferably overnight if you're gonna do it um, in the morning. Uh, 12 hours is really good for it. I use garlic. Um, powdered garlic, let me think what I put on here, uh, spicy peppers, allspice, and clove. I know that sounds really peculiar, but it puts a bark on that lamb that takes any of the gaminess that people might be familiar with when you're doing or having lamb, and it just smooths it right out. I like to slow cook it again. Today isn't the, the slowest cook we've done. Uh, but I had a little, cut a little piece off there. It's just absolutely perfect. So again, uh, I do a dry rub. It's garlic, allspice, clove. We like to put the pizza peppers on there, the hot peppers, just to add a little spice or kick to it. Let it sit for eight hours or so, maybe overnight, uh, or do it first thing in the morning. And then I usually like to have it on the grill uh, three or four hours and let it come up to about 160 degrees. This is the first time I've done it on this grill. I'm still getting used to it uh, because I only have you know one day a week to uh, barbecue with it because Grandpa's usually over there on his grill and, uh, during the week uh, doing the barbecuing. But anyhow, it. It's just absolutely fantastic. So we're gonna be bringing out the peppers soon, uh, the stuffed peppers, that is our family tradition. And I'm not sure what Terry has in there, if I'm gonna be barbecuing anything else. But today is leg of lamb, bone in, with the LCLY special barbecue rub. I gave you the recipe. And I just put it on there, um, liberally, quite. One thing I will say, we have a fantastic chef in town, uh, just top notch, has won all sorts of awards. And he told me that when you're doing lamb, uh, not to salt it as you're cooking it. So I never salt it. Um, there's no salt on this piece right now. We always have uh, salt on the, on the dinner table and we're very liberal when it comes to that because we generally aren't salting our meats until um, until we eat them. Red meat, steak, that's, uh, that's a little different. So 
let's see how it goes. Uh, we're going to be ready to get the peppers on and uh, we'll be ready to eat in about a half hour. We'll check back in with you. Well, we've got the peppers on the grill and we had to use Italian peppers uh, this time around. There were no poblanos. We've been asked about the recipe several times. So I, I just give you a brief uh, rundown. It is a little different every time. Anytime you eat at the Brion household, we're always uh, making a little bit of changes. There's, uh, there's multiple cheeses in there. There is cream cheese as the, as the primary base, and then there's the shredded cheese, and then there's garlic, salt, and pepper, and of course we dice up a fair amount of red onion. That's my uh, favorite. Sometimes we use a white onion or both, and then that goes in uh, a mix, and the cheese uh, grills a little hot. Generally, generally uh, to really get it mixed, you have to to use your hands, it's really hard to stir it. The Italian peppers uh, are a little different than the poblanos, and when we cut them, uh, they don't leave a good top on them uh, at the top of the pepper. This one has a good top, so I'm gonna put it on the grill. I told you we like those char, char marks. Uh, we're, we are using a cast iron skillet in here today, and the reason we're doing that is because we don't want the peppers to spill out. So as soon as the peppers start to get charred, I'll pick them back up, put them in the skillet. You can see we had to cut that out of the top of the Italian pepper. So it will, uh, like I said, it will just spill out and then we lose all the goodies. So uh, just a little trick there. We just put the cast iron pan right in over the fire and uh, let the peppers start to uh, soften up a little. I told you we like them with the crunch. We like them with the char marks from the grill and then we just want the cheese to melt and really when the cheese starts to soften up and melt about the same time the pepper is really ready to come off so we'll see you at the table thank you for watching Well, we're ready to eat, and this is the Brion family's favorite meal, a leg of lamb. You can see how nicely it pulled away from the bone. And we're going to cut it, get ready to serve it. Oh, that looks absolutely perfect. Look at that. Look at that color. I look good to you. Father, thank you for this food. Thank you for our great family. Thank you for this opportunity to serve you. Thank you for the beginning of another week. Amen. Amen. That's it for today's video, everyone. I hope that you enjoyed. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. But other than that, we'll see you back here next time.